Next question is from Soraya Graham. I want to add running to my weightlifting routine. I was thinking of running a mile or 10 minutes prior to lifting. My goal is to keep and improve on gains, but also weave in some endurance training. Or is it better to run after weights or run on my days off? Help. Okay. After, after after weights day, or days yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. I, well, it, it depends. Okay. So we're splitting hairs a bit because you're not running a ton. You're running a mile. But here's, That's here's, a good point. here's the deal. What's more important to you, the endurance or the strength? If endurance is more important than you run before you work out, if strength is more important than you run after you work out, the best answer is on the days off, in my opinion. Um, on the days off, when you're not lifting, then you don't have these kind of competing signals. But if it's mm -hmm. on the same day, studies will show whatever you do first, you tend to improve the most um, in your workout. By the way, this is true for exercises too. So whatever your exercises you do at the beginning of your workout tend to be the ones you get the most improvement in. And the ones at the end of the workout, you tend to get the least improvement. But again, we are splitting hairs yeah. here. You're only running one mile, so it's not gonna make a huge difference either way. I feel like we address this all the time, uh, and I and I feel like too because you know everybody is is so inactive and sedentary in general. I think like even like having a pursuit to jog, run, do whatever, like to to acquire more steps throughout your day is something everybody should consider. Even if you're sitting all the time, just to, to gain more activity in general. I mean, there's a lot of other ways to accomplish that in which I tend to prefer like the neat method where we're just like focusing on just being up and being active and, and, you know, being more productive and, and, and using that time, uh, you know, you know, to accomplish things within your house or work or whatever, uh, versus just like running on a treadmill, like a hamster. Uh, but, you know, if this is something that you really enjoy to do, uh, you know, I, I see no problem in it in, in incorporating that. But, yeah, I, I would definitely put it at the end of uh, your workouts if the priority right now is strength. I love this right after a workout, especially I mean, a mile, less than 10 minutes. Yeah. You know, even if you have a relatively slow mile, you're doing that in 10 yeah, minutes. Yeah, you're just cruising. Yeah, that's a that's cruising. And and if you do it every single day, you will build some endurance. You'll mm -hmm. get good at it relatively quick. So, And I like that. This is... This is actually the place that I kind of go back to. Like if I haven't ran in a while, this has been actually on my mind because I haven't in a while, is I like to just make sure I can run a mile. And the, the, my logic behind that is I'll probably never have to in my life run longer than a mile. You know what I'm saying? That's probably the most I'll ever have to. Yeah. So I want to be pretty good at it. I want to be able to, if I got to go take off with my son or do something where I got to run for a straight eight minutes or so, I'm pretty efficient at it. I don't have any desire to run five, 10, 15 beyond that. And so- I want and to it, catch a burglar. And because yeah. it's such a, because it's, yeah, yeah hey, exactly. Get back here. Right. If a guy steals from you, he's not getting very far. He's not getting longer than a mile. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I, I, to me, if you're only running that short of a duration, it, it's not that conflicting of a signal to build muscle yeah. at the same time. You're talking about a very short window. It's not. I mean, until, it's almost the warm up. Honestly, if it you're, is. If your if your endurance is decent, you know, if I ran a mile before, it wouldn't be a warm up. It'd be a hard workout. But if if someone else did, you know, if your endurance is okay, it's kind of a warm up. So I'm glad you brought that up because this is what I would do during when I was competing. Um, I would actually run a mile before I started working out, and it was like a warm up. Mm -hmm. It was like I'm just going to do that, and because my priority now is to cut and to lean out, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go into the workout. You're not lifting heavy anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not lifting. I'm not training really heavy. All my gains were done in the off season. Now it's time to shred, peel down. So I just want to burn. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna burn as many calories before going into the workout. And then I'm really gonna burn when I'm getting into my workout. And then sometimes I'd even walk for ten or fifteen minutes afterwards. So yeah, that short of a duration, I think you could do every single day and be totally fine and make great gains. Excellent.